What's up YouTube? I wanted to get some information, ask some questions in regards to a system that I looked at today. It was a 17 year old Goodman split system, gas furnace, 100,000 BTUs. On the initial test in readings I had a slightly elevated oxygen content at about 10 percent. CO2 was a little over 6 percent. CO ppm was 64 and my excess air was at 81.3 percent. The gas pressure was rated at 3.5 and I had a 3.3 inch of water column actual reading so I knew that I could raise the gas pressure a little bit and improve my oxygen and lower my excess air. As I adjusted the gas pressure I did see my oxygen begin to come down and my excess air come down as well but after I had raised the gas pressure to about three and a half inches I was noticing that the oxygen would elevate and the excess air would come back up as well. I pushed it a little bit farther to about 3.6 inches of water and noticed that the oxygen and excess air did lower but came back up as the system ran. When I noticed that this was occurring I left the system at 3.6 inches and monitored the system simply to see if the reading would climb to an exaggerated level. It did not. It rose and stopped at 9.8 inches oxygen and my CO ppm rose to about 99. The excess air came up to roughly 78 percent but did not rise any further. I inspected the heat exchanger as much as I could to confirm if there were any cracks or holes in it and as you have seen in the video it is not in perfect condition but I was unable to find any kind of cracks or holes in the heat exchanger. Definitely several spots that were not in the greatest condition but nothing definitive to say yes indeed there was a hole. So my question is if you see a rise in oxygen or excess air, would that be enough for you to condemn a heat exchanger as having a hole or a crack? All of my readings stay under allowable tolerances, but the oxygen did rise from 9% to 9.8%. As always, thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments. And we'll see you on the next video.